Now, from the University of Okaboji, it's Okaboji Broadcast with Jeff D. Welcome to Okaboji Broadcast, everybody. What a wonderful Wednesday here in the Iowa Great Lakes. And Mr. Wonderful Wednesday himself, Blaine Andera, of course, from the uh, <laughs> Iowa Great Lakes area chamber. Yeah, Hi, yeah. buddy. You know, you have a new name for me, I think, every time we're on well, here. Well, I, so. I just, you know, when you think someone being so wonderful, it's like you're it's, always thinking yeah, of great yeah, things to that's say. That's what we think when we think of Blaine. Mr. Wonderful, <laughs> Mr. wonderful <laughs> Wednesday. Mr. Wonderful Wednesday. Oh, oh my gosh, Jeff! What a you tell we got uh, hard to believe that uh, yesterday we got a little rain and people going, boy, we needed it. We, I never thought we'd be exactly, that. exactly, Jeff. I had almost three quarters of an inch at my house, so yeah. and I know my garden, my yawn really yawn, your yawn, my lawn and garden really needed it. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah, I had cracks in my like my lawn. Yeah. And it's crazy. I started watering, I don't know, a week and a half ago. Like, That's getting very brown out there. <laughs> it is. And you never so, thought it would happen. But no. we got beautiful, beautiful weather. Yeah, beautiful morning August. this morning. It's so much fun to see all the people wandering around down here already today. And yes. Lots of activity, lots of things going on in the Iowa Great Lakes. Well, you know, that was one of the benefits of years ago when the Iowa legislature uh mandatory that the uh, school start date wasn't until the latter part of yep. August uh, so schools don't get rubber stamped anymore and they're you know they're back in session at this point right so, uh, for us, the Iowa Great Lakes, the Iowa State Fair, uh, need those young people, and we love having families here. We sure do. You know, that's something, and, and you're aware of this, but the, the Chamber and uh, our Tourism Department have worked hard on that to try and help keep the, the start date as late into August as we can to keep those college kids and high school kids in the workforce and families coming and vacationing yet. You know, there's a lot of people around, so. Yeah, and we got a big weekend ahead with, uh, we got Save the Park, we got two big concerts here in the park, there's a full moon party on Monday at the Barefoot, so we are certainly fully in business here. There is tons of stuff going on. Summer has not ended yet. That's no. for darn sure. And this is a great time if you're looking at doing a little shopping mm -hmm. while you're here. You know, people are starting to have those markdown sales. They got their summer stock and they, they want to get rid of it. And so, boy, do your shopping. Right. You know, crazy days at the Emporium last week. We're seeing all the clothing racks with the specials here yep. down in Queens Court. And uh, we just, you know, gosh, when you're in town or when you're out and about, shop, shop local. We really appreciate that. Jeff. Yes, yes so, we do. Yeah. As do they. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're coming up on uh, Labor Day weekend here just a short amount of time. But Shame on you. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, hate, I hate to be the uh, party pooper, but uh, uh, they will continue construction on Highway 71 right after and the chamber, as you always have since this project mm -hmm. has begun, um, putting out informational meetings, letting people know, okay, here's where it's going to be, here's when it's going to yep. start in cooperation with the DOT. Exactly. So the uh, the construction is uh, scheduled to start the Tuesday after Labor Day weekend. I believe that's maybe the 3rd of September, 4th of September, somewhere in there. Yep. So, uh, But we're hosting a public meeting here at the Majestic Pavilion next Wednesday, the 21st of August, starting at 5.30 p.m. Okay. And the DOT will be there to give a, a PowerPoint presentation on the project and what is slated to happen this fall. And the contractor will be there and they've got the big maps and they'll talk to you one-on-one -on -one and you know it's uh it's a great opportunity for us to bring those folks in and, and inform the public of what's going on with this so. yeah i mean we're we're on the last leg we of are it now which is nice and they've been so cooperative and done such a great job on our thoroughfare on 71 Boy, the Iowa Great Lakes. you can sure tell where they haven't done yet can't yeah, you, it's, Jeff? <laughs> it's crazy <laughs> so it's like getting a facelift on half your face <laughs> i know what you're doing next right so <laughs> no it's uh, it's good and we're excited to be able to provide that service and, and uh, look forward to hearing what they have to say. And, yeah. you know, obviously it's, uh, again, they're going to try and get as much done this fall so that they don't have to come back next spring, and yep. that's the goal. Yeah, so. absolutely. Mm -hmm. And so uh, area of residents uh, and business people, certainly a good idea. If, you know, you have questions how this yep. might affect you, your customers, your business, uh, check that out. Yeah. 5 o'clock next Wednesday. A week from now, Yep. another wonderful Wednesday. 5.30 <laughs> is when it kicks off next Wednesday, the 21st. So okay. You betcha. And you're going to be doing another Let's Do Lunch. Let's Do Lunch, Jeff. You bet. This is with uh, Blink Marketing and Lakes New Shopper. It will be at Blink Marketing right there on 10th Street in mm -hmm. Milford. Yep. Uh, starting at 11.30 next Thursday, August 22nd. So registration, a little networking from 11.30 to noon, and then lunch at noon, and the presentation will be after that so okay. um, really it's it's going to be about um, 
how, how positive positivity in the workforce, things like that. Okay. So All it's right. going to be a great presentation. Uh, Jill and John are going to do a fantastic job. I'm sure they will. So Absolutely. Jill Harms and John Adams. Yes, so. Junior. <laughs> junior. <laughs> so. The other tall John yeah. Adams. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so the uh, cost for this is only $15. You do have to pre-register yeah. by uh, Tuesday at noon, I believe, is the, the cutoff time. So okay. go to our Facebook page uh, or our website, OkologiChamber.com, yep. for more information. Yeah. Make sure you pre-register because they don't want to be one lunch short for that. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so. uh, my friend, as we hear, it's the 15th of August, and before you know it, uh, we're going to be having join <laughs> Oktoberfest. It's right around the corner. Man, I remember when we were saying, oh, the 4th of July is only a month away. Well, okay, yep. now here we are, Oktoberfest yep. is about a month and a half away. It's crazy, Jeff, isn't it? So we're uh, we're looking forward to Oktoberfest. Um, we've got a lot of stuff going on today. You know, the Stein holding competition, the keg toss, the hammer slog, and everything with that. There's a vendor fair. It's going to be a huge vendor fair this yeah. year. A lot of folks are registering for that. Inflatables for the kids. And, of course, the bike ride around Westlake Okoboji is right. the, the main event with that so uh, pre-registration is open at okolojichamber.com yeah. uh, invite people to register and we did order a few of the extra extra of the bike jerseys okay. this year so there might still be an opportunity for you to get a bike jersey if you're interested in that but so, I wouldn't dawdle I wouldn't either because okay. yeah, yeah that was pre pre-register only and we did order a few extra just in case. Okay, so, very yeah. good. All right. <laughs> Fantastic. Of course, for all your information right there, uh, okabojichamber.com, and yeah. get on to vacation, okaboji.com, uh, for, of course, the um, Okaboji tourism site. And between those two, yep. you can find out everything going on, where you can stay, what you can do, what's coming up. Yeah, absolutely. Kylie and, and Lauren over in the Vacation Okoboji office are happy to help, uh, uh, as are Morgan and, and Michaela back at the Chamber office. So give us a call, 332-2107, and we'll help you out. Okobojichamber.com, vacationokoboji.com all your one-stop shopping for things to do in the Iowa Great Lakes. One-stop shopping, that's the perfect credo for a chamber, isn't it? It is. <laughs> exactly. All right. My friend, thank you for coming out so, on a wonderful pleasure, Wednesday. So, and it's wonderful for me. I got to see you a little yeah. bit, so uh, good for everybody. All right. Thanks, Take care, Jeff. my friend. You bet. Appreciate Blaine it. and Dara. Oh, and I appreciate him. Hey, <laughs> we want to thank uh, Blade for being here with us and all that the Chamber does for our area. And, of course, we want to thank you for watching us right here on Okaboji Broadcast. Okaboji Broadcast from the studios at Historic Arnold's Park Amusement Park is brought to you in part by Quest Wealth Management, a financial advisory practice of Ameriprise Financial Services, advisor Jan Spielman, A.J. Spielman, and Erica Wachholz. The headquarters of the University of Okaboji is at the Three Suns, open Monday through Saturday 10 to 5 and Sunday from 10 to 4. Bank Midwest, dream big, plan wisely, live well. Lakes Regional Healthcare and Avera Partner. Beck Engineering in Spirit Lake. Be Radiant Laser Skin Studio in the Okoboji Plaza in Okoboji. 